Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Coming at you guys today with a quick little rat hole video. I'm going to show you guys the top five rat holes on Genesis. Now the map actually has quite a lot of smaller rat holes like for solo plays and stuff like that, but I'm going to be covering the bigger, more overpowered ones. The ones I would say are definitely not intended and do not work on official. The only spot that works on official is the first one I'm going to be showing you. Otherwise, the other four rat holes are for unofficial servers. And they are insanely strong, guys. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump over to spot number one. Okay, so the first spot is probably the only spot that can be built on official and the only spot that's not completely busted. It's also the spot I'm using in my series to breed my bassies. So it's got two entrances, a little water entrance, which I'll show you guys first. I'll keep the GPS out so you guys can see it. Over here is the entrance, the first little entrance, 44, 45. The closest spawn is Ocean South. So you swim on in up here. And you got like this little water area. This is where I'm breeding my bassies. As you can see, it's up against the world border. Uh, so you would have to defend that little area there, the little swimming area. As far as I know, you can't swim any dinos through. Of course, you could throw turtles in. Uh, that's the downfall of all rat holes. And then once you get in here, you got a decent chunk of space for an actual base. Like you could put a bunch of cliff plats down, build on top of them, and then have your water tames underneath. The second entrance is actually up here. It's a little drop down along the world border. As you can see, pretty big hole, pretty big entrance. You come in from the side and then you can just drop down. So you might be able to get soaked depending on how they've got their turrets, if they position their trike or whatever they're soaking you with in the right position, they might be able to soak your turrets from above. So if you were going to take this spot, you'd probably want to put turrets at the bottom and some turrets at the top as well, just so people can't come in here and snipe your teams and all that kind of stuff. Pretty decent rat hole. The only reason I like it and included it is because, yeah, this is where I'm breeding my bassies. It's such a chill spot to breed your water teams. Although you sometimes get the odd shark spawn in here. I figured I may as well include one that you guys on official can actually build. Uh, probably the least OP out of the five, but still pretty decent rat hole. Let's head on over to number four now. Okay, so onto the second spot and the start of the spots that just should not be in the game to begin with. There's actually two rat holes literally directly on top of each other in the bog. Now, a lot of people are talking about the huge one, but I want to show you guys the smaller one first. So the smaller one, the entrance is at 75.2, 76.0. Closest spawn is probably going to be Bog South. The entrance to this one is inside the tree here. So you come up to the cliff, you jump down into the tree, and then you fall down into the rat hole. Now, because it's a drop down, it makes it insanely strong. But just by seeing the terrain, you can tell that this spot is not intended. I'm sure Wildcard are going to patch all four of these spots at some point because they're really busted. So you've got a whole lot of space in here. You cannot build it on official. Uh, if you're playing unofficial and you've got collision disabled, for example, MTS, this spot is really strong. You've got this little chamber back here where you can put some extra stuff, whole lot of space. You've got a drop down, which makes it super easy to defend. And um, yeah, just a really busted spot in general. And as I said, literally right next to this spot is another spot in the same tree. So I'll show you guys that as well. So we come out of this one and we hug the tree this way, like around the outside, uh, you'll find another rat hole. The entrance to this one is here, as you can see, pretty big entrance. These the coordinates are 75.1, 75.2, literally exactly the same spot on the map, same spawn, bog south. And if you go on this one, you're going to be amazed. Uh, so it's a pretty big hole in the tree, right? Like I'd, I'd say this little spot here is intended. And then you got this little crack in the wall. So you go through the crack and then you got a huge cave, like literally bigger than some of the caves on the island. Like the amount of space in here is insane. It's very obvious this spot is not intended as well. It's the biggest rat hole out of the five that I'm going to include. I just did it third because, uh, yeah, it was right next to the other one and I'm a pretty lazy guy. So you got all kinds of little nooks and crannies, little crouch spots and stuff you can get into just if you wanted to maximize your space. But um, otherwise, I'd suggest just, you know, cliff plats in the main chamber. You, there's like, there's so much space in here. It's insane. Like it really is enough about that. I could go on about how broken it is for a long time. If you guys watching this are watching my series, I'm going to attempt to raid this rat hole at some point, but for now, let's go ahead and jump over to spot number four. All right. So here we are at spot number four. Now the closest spot for this one is going to be volcano North. We are in the volcano biome. The coordinates for the first entrance is 16.5, 79.2. Now there are two entrances to this one, although it doesn't really matter because the entrances are insanely small and hard to get to. You're coming through this really tiny human sized hole into the rat hole and you just got all this space. It expands upwards as well. Like just look at that. Now it does have a second entrance, as I said, up here at the top, much more of a bigger entrance. So just looking at like this part of the mesh makes me say it's not intended, but like the hole here is quite big. I don't see how they could have accidentally put this huge hole here. So I don't know, maybe it was intended, maybe it wasn't. Either way, it's a really strong rat hole 
very hard to raid. Yeah, you just got so much space in here as well. You cannot build it unofficial. As I said, the only rat hole you can build unofficial was the first one. Unofficial rat hole again, but you have so much space, especially once you start doing cliff plats and expand upwards. But either way, we're going to go ahead and jump over to the final spot. It's over in the snow biome. All right, so last spot in the video, uh, last overpowered rat hole. Of course, there's like a bunch of small little solo rat holes that you can put one by ones in. There's really a lot of holes on this map. I just wanted to highlight the more overpowered ones. All right, so the entrance to this one is at 62.7, 15.9. You're gonna wanna spawn at Snow Northeast if you're gonna wanna get to this one. It's just a hole in the floor with a really big drop down into the actual rat hole. So on top of that really big drop down, you also have to drop down slightly more to get into the base. So it's gonna be literally, like it's gonna be so hard to actually raid. Like all you need to defend is that little triangle shaped entrance there. I've tried walking a track through there, it doesn't work. I've tried uncryoing a Magmasaur uh, in this area and breathing fire through there. There's actually not enough space here to put the Magmasaur. I've tried uncryoing a giant turtle through this rat hole and it doesn't work. The only thing I found that actually works is just uncryoing trikes or uncryoing small turtles and soaking it that way. Uh, but that's pretty much how you raid any rat hole, right? It's just enough turtles. But either way, it's uh, very sloped in here. It's not very flat. I could see that being a downside. Once again, it's on unofficial only. So you most likely have S plus on, which makes it a little bit easier to deal with the slopeness. I just, I can't believe that it's intended to be like this. It's just way too easy to actually defend. But either way, guys, that was just a quick little video. Usually I show you guys where to farm resources, but because of the teleport system, there's no point in me showing you where the close resources are to the actual base spots because you're just going to teleport to them anyway. But yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. Let me know if you like these quick little videos. I might do one for actual good base spots on the map in general, if people are interested in that. Like I could also do one for like solo players, like small one by one rat holes, although that might ruin the experience for solo players. So if you're solo, trust me, go out in single player, fly around, you'll find tons of tiny rat holes where you can put like one by ones or two by twos, stuff like that. But either way, guys, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching the short little video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.